Oh, I'm John from Into Boxing, and I'm with Joe. So, Joe, tell us um, about Cardiff. I heard on the stage that it might not have happened. Yeah, um, obviously, I was scheduled to fight for a 10 round title fight. Um, obviously, things happened which I, I wasn't eligible to fight for um, a title. So, we moved it down to an 8 rounder because um, the, the opponent I was um, meant to face, he didn't want to come over and not fight for a title. Um, so, that was up in the air. But nevertheless, we got an opponent for an 8 rounder. Um, and then I found out on the day that. It was a, a six rounder and it's got um, and I'm afloat. So which it had my head pickled. So um, I was just I stayed calm, obviously uh, got to the venue as normal, done my whole thing and I was expecting a couple of fights to be stopped early, like uh, Dillian White's maybe Katie Taylor's. Um, obviously they went the distance so it sort of put pressure on me whether I was gonna get on and Eddie was um, flapping a little bit um, and same um, all the other guys were as well from Matchroom, so they were like, how can we not put the only Welsh fighter on the show? It just don't make sense, so um, in the end, uh, as soon as Dillian White got on, they've come running in, get out. Uh, I had my gloves off, I was meant to go out after Joshua. Running down the, um, the tunnel, putting my gloves on, taping my hands up, I forgot my gum shield. It was a bit of a shambles, but like I said, nevertheless, I got on front of 75,000 people in my hometown, so um, it was a great experience and loved every minute of it. Yeah, I mean, if there's one, if there's one place to fight, every amazing. Every fighter from Wales wants to win a world title or fight in a Millennium Stadium. For me, it came um, earlier than I expected, so it was great for me, but I, it didn't have the fairy tale ending how I wanted it and how I wanted to plan out. So, um, but like I said, nevertheless, I got in front of 75,000 people, unbelievable experience and in my hometown, so I couldn't ask for more. So you're training for this fight, how's it gone, how's it camping? Unbelievable, I, I had, um, for my last two fights, I've only had a week off, I had a week of doing nothing, and then um, straight back in. Um, this, this camp, after my last fight in, I had one week off again, started training again, we went over to Miami, done some sparring over Miami, Fifth Street Gym. Um, I've had a great camp, I'm feeling good and I just can't wait to put on a performance. What's it like in Miami when you walk into these gyms? And it's quite intimidating because everyone's um, sort of, they don't speak to you like the people you're sparring, they don't, they're just staring at you and um, it's a quite an intimidating vibe but um, like we're, we're like in, in our gym and in Tony Sims' gym we're, we're all fighters and we're all quite rough when we're sparring and when we were sparring them they didn't really like it and boys weren't coming back the, the, the next days to come spar so um, and the word got around so in the end me and Martin Woods that have to spar each other and we went all the way over to Miami to spar each other which um, ain't ideal but he's a great fighter great experience um, for myself we spar each other quite often and um, it's always a great spar so yeah I'm learning a lot from uh, Martin because obviously he's um, British Commonwealth and now um, seems to be European champion so it's a great for me so how have you prepared for this particular fighter um, I haven't, I've seen obviously videos of him, he's, he's tough, he's Mexican, he comes forward, um, typical Mexican, just bends arm shots, looks to go to the body. Um, I'm just looking to use my ability, my speed, my footwork and just keep it long and um, hit him straight down the middle and when he comes on just move off to the sides and um, be awkward and as hard as hit as possible. Okay, well, us at Interboxing have been a very big fan of you since every fight, so good luck and Thank wish you all the best. Cheers, man. Thank you.